Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Jay Singh. I'm with the Dixie RV here in Hammond. Um, I'm going to be doing a presentation for you today on the Momentum 380TH made by Grand Design. Grand Design is, has been focusing on customers for life. They wanted to design a luxury toy hauler fifth wheel with a mid-profile pricing. I'm sure everybody's noticed after you have your RV for a certain period of time, you know, stickers starts coming off of it and it starts fading out, okay? Well, these are all painted within, which is a painted front cap, so you're not gonna have the stickers coming off of it. The other thing that you have is trail air rotoflex suspension. It reduces the chucking of the unit itself. It gives it that air ride so it doesn't bounce and it actually keeps it smooth, leveled, and right behind your vehicle. The unit is actually a full body gel coat versus a Phylon gel coat. Now the difference is, is Phylon gel coat, they actually have the little strands in it, okay, kind of like a strand board, and it's not gel coated. So even with the stickers that are on the unit itself, it's gonna stay intact a lot longer than if it was a Phylon fiberglass. The other thing that you have is two carefree awnings, which is one of the best ones out there. So it's like having two sections, two separate rooms almost. I'm sure everybody's seen campers going down the road or somebody may have one where you have little streaks going down the side. But what they've done on the Grand Design Momentum is they put extended gutter spouts. So that way you don't have streaks going down the road. You can have less maintenance. The other thing I want you to notice, the framing of the windows. Just like all RVs or all fifth wheels and all travel trailers and even motorized, um, they have seals that go all the way around. That's what we're used to seeing. Well, what, what would happen is that over time, because it's exposed to weather, sometimes extreme weather, they end up dry rotting. And what happens when seals around your windows dry rot? They crack. <laughs> And then what happens if it rains? Well, we know the end result, okay? What they've done on the momentum is they actually put the seals on the inside so it's not exposed to weather. It's a little bit more climate controlled. And they do the same thing as the frame windows where you can still pop them open. The other thing I wanna show you here is your Class A type baggage doors, latches. And if you notice the thickness of it versus some of the other ones, you'll notice that a lot of them are kind of flimsy, okay? This has actually got some weight to it, and I can actually, I could work out with this. <laughs> the other great thing is, is that when you, you know, then you have to come up here and you have to, what, latch it. Well, rather than latching your compartment door, they created magnets for it. Now it just stands there, just like that. The other thing that it does, it actually allows you 30% more storage than any other toy hauler in its class. And if you look inside, I could probably turn this into a bed because it's climate controlled. You have a receptacle here, which is gonna blow out either heat or cold. If you have this unit up north, and let's say it's negative 15 degrees, okay? Because of the heated basement, which is, this is called the basement, up north <laughs> or an attic down south, um, it is actually going to keep it at a um, medium temperature, which is about 68 degrees. The welded aluminum framing that goes all the way across and you don't have a whole bunch of stuff just hanging from it. You also have, or they like to refer to as astrofoil, and what that does is that it, that keeps from cold air or, or extreme heat from coming in through your basement into your bedroom. You also have a built-in vacuum system, uh, which is made by Intervac. And uh, you all have, also have all your attachments here. Um, you have a swing around arm where a TV can be connected. So when you go into uh, tailgating and you're having parties, you know, you can have everything set up outside, watch the game, barbecue, have some music on, you have speakers side by side with your frame as windows right in the middle and really, really enjoy not only the unit, but enjoying your life because you really can't have one without the other. <laughs> you have to be able to enjoy your life 
or so to speak, like most people like to say, work hard, play hard. The other thing I want to point out to you is the leveling system. It is a six point leveling system and it's hydraulic, so it's less likely to malfunction. If it's something doesn't work, you can always override it and do it manually versus something that's electric. When you have kids even running inside or if you're loading up your bike or whatever it may be, it's gonna be stationary. It's gonna be just like a home. You have 8,000 pound axles and they're H-rated tires rather than G-rated. It is your premium, premium, premium tires that you have on it, which also have nitro-filled air, which makes the tire last a lot longer. If you ever notice um, a camper, a fifth wheel, a travel trailer, sitting on a side and you notice that they had they just had a blowout okay that is actually pretty typical believe it or not what happens is is that when you're pulling a unit like this um, it's going to have the tendency over time to wear out the inside of your tires which is down here okay wearing out the inside of your tires what happens is, is it's like taking your tire turning it sideways and dragging it a hundred miles. That's what that's the end result. Okay, that happens that quickly. So to overcome that, what they've done is they created something called Crick Track. Crick Track is a trailer alignment system which takes the axles and aligns them together. It's going to pull better. Um, you know, it's not going to sway or anything like that. It's going to create less fatigue. It's going to be uh, less gas usage on your vehicle. We have on the Grand Design Momentum, aluminum steps. Now the benefits of it, never gonna rust, easy to pull out and push up. You can see that I can do it pretty much with one finger, okay? Um, you have a spring-loaded rear toy hauler door or entrance. It also has locks on it versus some of the other ones that don't. What they've done is they found a way to utilize that ramp door, not just only to load up your toys, but for use it for other purposes. When the ramp door drops, the whole ramp area converts into an outside patio. But what they've done is they added another carefree awning over your patio. You also have a ladder that goes all the way up and that's a walk on rubber roof. It does have a 12 year warranty on the roof. You have a 60 gallon fuel tank. With the fuel station, you notice you have two tanks. One is actually going to feed the generator and the other one is a reserve. So if you do have bikes, four wheelers, toys that require gas, you actually have a pump. So you can fuel all your bikes right there on the spot if you're out in the woods, out in the middle of nowhere. Um, this is an all self-contained fifth wheel toy hauler, which means that it holds 116 gallons of fresh water, two gray water tanks, 60 gallons each, and 55 gallon uh, black water tank. They have built-in generators. Now, this is not just your ordinary generator. This is a Cummins Onan 5500 quiet gas generator. And it has an electric start from here, or you can start it up from the inside. You do have an all-weather WeatherTech insulation, which is for extreme climate protection. If it's 115 degrees outside or minus 15 degrees outside, it's going to be 68 in the in the basement, um, and it's going to be 72 to 75 degrees on the inside. As you can see, the interior is just magnificently beautiful. Looks nothing like a toy hauler. We like to refer it as a home with a garage because it's all livable now. You know, you, even your garage area is livable. The whole unit is designed based on what the customer wants, the feedback that we get from the people out there. And that's how we make the adjustments. That's how this unit was built. The first thing I want to tell you about is you have two inch laminated aluminum sidewalls. Very, very durable, okay? You have seven, a seven foot slide versus a six or six and a half foot slide on some of the competition. You also have LG Corian countertops or solid surface countertops here. And this is kind of a little separate area. You can put a coffee maker here, maybe a blender here. The cabinetry is the finest craftsmanship. A lot of these cabinetries are actually built by the Amish. 
and we know that the Amish do a fantastic job of building cabinets. You also have the European style hinges. As you can see, European, they won't open up that easily, which means that you don't have, you're not exposing any type of hinge on the outside. Because over time, I mean, they, with humidity and everything, they can also rust, so they're also enclosed on the inside so you don't get rust on your hinges. Um, and they open on both sides, as you can see, and on top you have LED lights. And these are double ball bearing guided drawers. They are three inches versus two inches. You have the 18 cubic foot refrigerator, double door, made by Norco, it's gas and electric. And so let's say you're even going out to the woods and you're gonna park this thing at your campsite and you got plenty of food to last you a long time for the whole family. The other thing that they did is they put the solid surface tops over your stove. Rather than having that flimsy metal top that goes on most of them, as you can see, it's a three burner. You have a Suburban oven here. You have a large Frigidaire microwave. And we can never miss your pantry. You can put a lot of things in here. You can adjust the shelves however you want. Plus, they have pull-out drawers. Isn't that amazing? Last thing here is your double sink, a big one and a small one. You have a detachable faucet, which you can use it to spray and control. And what they've done here, if you, if you notice, they didn't put any seals anywhere around here. The seals are actually underneath, but not on the outside. Because what happens is when you get that seal wet, that seal is gonna start coming off. And what's gonna happen, is gonna create bacteria over time. What they've done here with the momentum is they created the solid surface countertops with the aluminum um, stainless steel sinks, but no seals on the outside. Kind of like the frameless windows. There's no seals on the outside, but they're on the inside. You have drawers on this side as well. Plus you have them on the inside, even comes with a trash can. If you look at this floor, this is called a bow floor. Now the bow floor is slip resistant, mildew resistant, cold crack resistant, moisture resistant. It's got a 25 year warranty on the flooring itself. Customers, we're saying you have your heat receptacles on the floor, so what happens is, you know, they may step on it and crack it. If you notice, there's no heat receptacles on the floor, so you're not stepping on them, and you're not cracking them. You're not having food fall into them. What you have here is you have theater seating. These are all recliners. The leather, very, very comfortable. Now you can turn on the TV. Hey, if you want to take a nap, this thing leans all the way back. You have a 5,000 BTU electric fireplace. You have a 42 inch flat screen TV. You have an AM, FM, DVD, auxiliary, Bluetooth, surround sound speaker stereo system. Put your popcorn right here. You got your better half on the other side. <laughs> Has her drink, you have your beer, right? <laughs> they wanted to be able to create ways to put pictures inside their units because a lot of people use these as full-time RVs so what Grand Design did is they have a space here to put a picture of your family, of your loved ones. This is a 10 foot box. These are more livable now than ever before. You have air conditioning in here, you have heat. You also have receptacles. You have a receptacle there, you have a receptacle there, and you have an entrance and exit door here. You have a television with speakers on the side. And what happens is, is you have two drop down beds and they're actually um, king size beds. The bottom part will also convert into a bench or you can lay them flat, which turns into a bed. You have enough sleeping area here to sleep four to six people in here, really. Then you also have patio doors that you can close off. Okay, so you have the option to go in and out, but not have you know, mosquitoes coming inside, which, you know, mosquitoes are everywhere, or any type of other bugs. Grand design, you know, they want you to have fun. And man, drink some beer, you just got back from riding, now you're sitting down, having some fun, with your buddies, playing a card game, you know, that's what it's all about. This is an exit door which opens up, just like that. You have exhaust up here, and down there, when you open these up, when you have your toys in here, so if they do use gas, uh, it's not gonna smell like fumes back here. 
because it is it's it's not a just a toy hauler but it's a house with a garage one of the things that they did with the momentum which is really really fantastic is that they created a tub shower but the biggest complaint I was having is that women were not able to sit down and say for instance shave their legs or you know to be able to groom themselves I'm about six feet I still have about four to five inches left it's before it hits the skylight I could actually jump in the bathtub just to show you how durable it is but most importantly it has a place to sit and that's what became really really important for most females is that they wanted a place to sit but also have a you know a tub where not only you can bathe smaller kids but you could also bathe your pets as well and with the premium shower handle you have a nice little place to put your soap bars and your shampoo and your conditioners of course you've got two pedestals on this side that you can put on and it is a surround tub which means that uh, this section here is covered all the way up to the top on both sides and the other thing you're going to notice is that the lip at Grand Design they made about four inches from the floor and then you have cabinets here with the European style hinges of course the cabinets are screwed and glued and not stapled together versus some of the other ones where they're not even probably going to have them much less have them this deep okay I can go all the way down and you have four sections here you have a porcelain foot flush toilet versus a plastic these are all led lights your fantastic fan your medicine cabinet and your soup bowl not only that it's a wider bowl but as you're washing your face or washing your hair or brushing your teeth it's going to keep everything on the inside i'm sure y'all can see the benefits of the bathroom over some of the conventional or, or some of the uh the competitors bathroom um the next thing i'm going to show you is the bedroom here notice that the the door here has a glass that goes all the way down and when you come in here you have a dual zone air conditioner which both acs are ducted um, you know some of the other ones you might have seen where you have one in the bedroom it's usually not ducted it's usually it, it actually dumps the air right into the bedroom this one is ducted and it works in conjunction with the one that's in the living room and they work in a racetrack okay so we're they're working in conjunction with each other it has this nice border right here on the wall so as you're going across you're not scratching up the wall itself premium grade premium grade pillow top mattress which is um you can see you have two struts on each side which lifts a lot easier than some of the competitors plus you have space down here which you can put certain sheets down there and you can put blankets inside of here i call it the treasure chest also you have a dresser here with deep drawers you can see you got a 32 inch television that's mounted on the wall you have an hd antenna the way the closet is designed it is already washer and dryer prepped okay so you have your washer and dryer prep that's on this side it's going to take a stackable washer and dryer which means that you can put the washer on one side and the dryer is going to go on this side with the washer and dryer on each side it actually gives you 20 percent more closet space in the master bedroom versus some of the competition that's out there one of the other things that you have with every single unit with Dixie RV, not just the momentum, is the lifetime warranty on your components. Some of the things that can break, like your suspension system, like your braking system, like your deluxe appliances, heating and air conditioning. It is covered for life. It's 100% parts and labor free. There's no deductible and you have this warranty as long as you own the unit. Please come by and see me. My name is Jay Singh, Dixie RV. We're located in Hammond off of I-12, exit 35, which is the Baptist Pumpkin Center exit. You know, what's important to us is our customers, okay? Because if we don't take care of our customers, somebody else will. And let me tell you, we're gonna take care of our customers. Thank you very much. My name is Jay Singh. Thanks for joining me today.